Greetings, we have three elements, namely three numbers right here. And the question is, how many different numbers we can make out of these three digits? Three, two, and one. But we care about the order of them as well. This tells us that it's not going to be combination, but it's going to be a little more complicated thing, and it's going to be permutation. It's also going to account for the mutual position, the relative position of these two. Okay, so we have three, two, and one, these three digits, and we're asking how many different numbers we can create by positioning any of these three anyhow into these two places. How do we calculate it? It's the permutation of, of, of the number of um, places down here and the number of elements that we're putting in. The set of the input elements is three because it's three, two, three, two, and one. It's these three things, therefore I wrote three elements. And now permutation, how is it calculated? It's just this number up here, factorial, over the difference between these two numbers, factorial. So it's 3 to minus, minus 2 is 1. And so we just calculate this, we know 1 factorial is just 1. It's 1 times 0 factorial, which is 1 times 1. And then we have 3 factorial, which is, and this is going to be equal to 3 factorial because this is 1. And so this is going to be 6. Okay? 3 times 2 times 1 times 0 factorial, which is 6. And so the answer to this is if we have three elements, okay, and we want to organize them into two positions like this, but we also care about their mutual order, okay, the order at which these uh, three elements, two of these are put onto these two positions, then we do the permutation, and it tells us that from three digits we can create two, uh, we can cre create six two-digit numbers.